hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been a while and i am so excited to be on a new schedule for the year of 2022 and we are kicking it off with all valentine's day recipes so today we are going to make some valentine's day cake pops and we are going to start with french vanilla formula one so you want to make sure that you have enough products to make this you're going to need a full cup of your formula one so you're going to do one full cup of french vanilla french vanilla is a very good flavor for anything that's either cake batter or cake anything it just tastes very cakey so make sure you have french vanilla and you will love this recipe so after you put one full cup of French vanilla, you're going to need your protein drink mix, of course, because the whole point of this is to have a very nutritious and filling little snack that is on the healthier side. So with these cake pops, you're not gonna have to worry about feeling guilty. So you're going to use your Herbalife measuring spoon, which is the big side, which is also a tablespoon. So you're going to do um, four scoops of your vanilla protein and that is with the tablespoon I mean I guess you can use the scooper as well but I just like to measure things out when I make actual baking recipes um, although you're not baking in this this is a non-bake recipe by the way <laughs> but when I'm making things that's not a shake or whatever I like to use measurements so now you're going to get the sugar-free jello pudding and this is the lemon flavor because of course we're making lemon pound cake cake pops because who doesn't love lemon pound cake if you don't like lemon pound cake i don't know if we can be friends but you probably don't want to be my friend anyway if you don't like lemon pound cake <laughs> all right so we're going to put the entire package of the sugar-free lemon pudding mix and you want to make sure that you have the sugar-free one so make sure you grab the blue box um, blue box is sugar free for pudding mix and now you're going to use some lemon extract and you really don't need a lot of it but if you like the lemon flavor you may want to add a little more but I'm just going to use the small side of your Herbalife measuring spoon which is one fourth so you're just going to pour that right into the side like that and because i do like the lemon flavor i'm just gonna put a half of one so i put a whole one fourth and then i did a little half of that side so that's how much of the lemon extract that i use and then i'm going to use a half a cup of water now keep in mind i will be adding more water later but we're going to start with just a half a cup so I do do things a little weird, which is why I like to do the videos instead of typing out step by step, because you could possibly get confused reading this one step by step. But what I'm going to do is mix in that half a cup of water as much as I can. So the batter is still going to be a little clumpy. It's definitely not going to be ready to make into cake balls. So like I said, I'm just going to mix it up as much as I can, all the ingredients together. And it's gonna look kind of like sand on a beach but I'm just gonna mix it as much as I can the way you see me doing and I just want to take a second to um, thank everyone for liking subscribing commenting um, turning on notifications sharing with your Herbalife family and for the continued support because I really appreciate you guys and that's what runs the drive to keep me going so now that i have everything all mixed as much as i can all the ingredients are all stirred up together as much as possible i'm going to get a separate container and i'm going to put one fourth of water in there and then i'm going to dry out my one fourth cup with a napkin and then i'm going to scoop a scoop of my mixed ingredients and this is actually going to be what i'm will be dipping the cake pops into once they're done so this is actually creating the icing I know it's kind of weird but it has all the ingredients of the cake pop so you don't you're not adding like extra calories or anything and then you see me adding another one-fourth of water into the batter over here and you're going to mix it until you get like this very thick dough 
and it's going to get tough and you're going to want to keep adding water to it so that it gets creamy don't do that so that's why i do it separate the way i just did because you're going to get that urge to make it creamy but if you just mush it like this as much as possible and knead it together is going to create this very thick dough so as you can see i didn't add more water i just made it into this big ball of dough and then you wash your hands and make sure everything is sanitized and clean especially if you're making this for your family if you're making this for a club i highly suggest that you wear some gloves because you are going to be using your hands um, I'm going to use some wax paper. You can use that parchment paper, whatever paper that you have or works for you. I just happen to have a lot of wax paper. And then I'm going to get a little spoon and I'm just going to roll the dough into balls. So it's very, very easy. It's very simple. You just, I think for me, the hardest part is just kneading it into that thick dough without wanting to keep adding more water to it. Probably because I'm used to like baking donuts and you know making waffles and all that great stuff so you're just going to knead the little balls as much as you want you can make them small you can make them big um just make sure if you're in a club to use gloves like i said but these are going to be for my family and i so i just went ahead and washed my hands and made our little cake pops so you're going to roll them into these little balls your little cake pops and you're going to transfer it onto something sturdy and then you're going to go ahead and put them in the freezer for a minute i mean if you don't want to make them fast you can definitely just put them in your fridge overnight but since i was making this video i just went ahead and froze them for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes i took them out the freezer and they are perfect and sturdy and ready to be decorated and eaten so now i have these perfect little cake pops you see how cute they are now you can get a piece of styrofoam and a stick that way you know they can be displayed um with some film over it kind of like starbucks does but for me, I'm just using these Valentine's Day toothpicks because I'm making them for my family. So I didn't want to have to, I mean, they're literally going to eat them right after this video. So I'm just using these toothpicks and going to keep them downwards. But if you want to have them up like actual cake pops, um, then I would definitely buy a little styrofoam block. They even have styrofoam in the Dollar Tree. So you don't even have to like go ham with expensive stuff buy a block of styrofoam and stick the sticks in the styrofoam and stick the balls right on top of the sticks and they'll be sitting straight up so now i am going to grab the cake balls and remember the cream that we made earlier for the icing you're just going to dip them in there obviously my um container that i, I used is a wide mouth so the icing is not very deep so i just have to use my little fork here to help dress the top of the cake pop so that it can just kind of seep down the side of it if you use a very like a taller and slimmer um cup then you can just dip it in there and pull it right out but because i have a wide mouth measuring cup i'm just gonna go ahead and help the top of the cake pop <laughs> by using my fork so it can just drip down the side and cover the whole cake pop so i'm going to go ahead and do that to every single one of these and then i'm going to transfer them back onto a plate so that i can place them back in the freezer so like i said i'm going to keep the cake pops facing downwards but if you do want them to be straight up you can definitely get a styrofoam block now since these are lemon pound cake i'm actually going to use my lemon pound cake yum crumbs for this video i'm going to go ahead and put a link to this website if you want a discount just put my name when you're checking out um, but these are definitely a game changer for me when it comes to garnishing any kind of cute little bakery thing um, i love yum crumbs they have so many different flavors so just go ahead and try those if you'd like at one point i just replaced all my toppings and was using only yum crumbs <laughs> And because this is a Valentine's Day edition video, 
I have these cute little Valentine's Day sprinkles that I picked up while I was in Target and I'm just gonna sprinkle these right on top of the yum crumbs and some of these sprinkles are kind of big and thick so once I was done um, sprinkling them on I just used a little rubber spatula to push it into the icing that way I wouldn't lose the sprinkles once I started to pick up the cake pops so definitely um, do that if you're having a problem with your sprinkles sticking you can just use a little spatula and push them in and now I'm going to lift my cake pops you see how cute they are and I'm gonna place them back on more waxing paper but on top of a plate if you're able to lift those without them falling over and getting ruined you can do that but I just went ahead and played it safe and grabbed a new sheet of waxing paper to put um, little cake pops on and I'm gonna go ahead and disregard this sheet of paper here and then I'm going to grab this plate here and put it in the freezer for 30 minutes now this is the finished outcome I honestly should have bit into one and showed you how it's literally like a cake pop they're so delicious my family loves them the kid loves them if you have kids they will love it if you have a nutrition club you can definitely um, put a little wrapper on the top.